<laughs> Took roughly 90 minutes to declare the incumbent, Brian Kemp, the winner tonight. He beats his Donald Trump backed challenger, David Perdue, after a furious push by the former president to punish Governor Kemp for not overturning the 2020 election results. Governor Kemp's victory sets up another general election race against the Democratic challenger, Stacey Abrams, who was unopposed in her primary tonight. So we head now to the College Football Hall of Fame in downtown Atlanta. That is where we have been very busy tonight, where Governor Kemp just recently made his speech, where he was bringing up the name Stacey Abrams repeatedly. So get ready between now and early November, Jennifer. We are going to hear these two duke it out and battle it out uh, wherever the forum, wherever the arena may be. And as far as arenas go, it's downtown Atlanta and the College Football Hall of Fame. That's where we find 11 Alive's Doug Richards quarterbacking our coverage at Governor Kemp's watch party. Yes, uh, Governor Kemp and his family just left the stage a few minutes ago after giving a uh, stirring victory speech in front of a large crowd, probably 500 people in the uh, College Football Hall of Fame arena area. And... Uh, news media from across the country who have watched this race because of its national implications and about the degree to which uh, it reflects on the continued uh, influence of uh, former President Donald Trump. Donald Trump, of course, campaigned hard against Governor Brian Kemp, and Governor Kemp still beat him. When he talked to the pres uh, to the uh, to his uh, fans today. However, he never mentioned Trump. He talked about his accomplishments in office. He talked about tax, cutting taxes, keeping the economy open during COVID. Um, let's hear a little bit of uh, what he had to say. Four more years of the Kemp administration will, will mean that you keep more of your hard-earned money. Your communities will be safe. Your kids will be in school without fear of partisan agendas in the classroom. Parents will have a voice. And we'll keep working to bring good paying jobs to every corner of our state. Marty and the girls and I will be focused on putting you first, not the elites on the presidential campaign circuit. And the uh, elites include, he says, Stacey Abrams, his Democratic opponent, who uh, he repeatedly criticized from the beginning of his speech to the end of the speech, really from the beginning of the campaign until just a few minutes ago, Stacey Abrams has been really, or the fear of Stacey Abrams or the aversion to Stacey Abrams has been a dominant theme of both Kemp's campaign and David Perdue's campaign. Uh, and now uh, they get to face each other uh, going into November.